Once SIU football found that they earned a spot in the 2021 FCS playoffs, the focus quickly shifted from being excited to have made the cut to it's time to get back to work. The Saluki is not satisfied with just being one of the 16 teams in the postseason. The dogs believe they could make some noise. Well, SIU followed through in dramatic come behind fashion, taking down the three seed Weber State last night. Down with 52 seconds left in gameplay, Stone Labanowitz makes a play he will remember for quite some time on fourth down. Connects with Branson Combs for the go ahead touchdown. Southern Illinois had that no excuses, next man up mentality all season. Round one of the playoffs was certainly no exception to that. Saluki's out one of their most dangerous weapons, Javon Williams, who was out with a concussion. But other guys stepped up, made the necessary plays to win the game. And sports director Jason Hurst has a pretty neat storyline about this and joins us from Utah. SIU football is still buzzing with excitement in their 34-31 win over Weber State. In the second half, they scored a touchdown that almost didn't happen. Johnson City's Nico Galdoni throws a touchdown pass on a fake field goal to Cole Stewart. Stewart didn't travel with the team. He had to get to Ogden, Utah on his own. The day before we are supposed to leave, um, one of my COVID tests tested positive and it just didn't make sense. And I tested negative two other times. Um, and I don't know, like it was just like I was sitting in my truck waiting. Uh, the team was on the plane. Like I'm just waiting for my other results. And they were just, were, just told me like, you, you can't go. Like, I'm sorry. So the, while the team's in the air, I go back to my apartment and I was like, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I was like, I'm going to figure this out myself. So all the trainers and doctors and coaches are on the plane um, flying to Salt Lake and I'm at my apartment and I said, I'm just going to figure this out myself. So I called the state health department. Um, I called the NTAA. Um, I called about anybody I could to uh, plead my case. And then uh, Dr. Humphrey got with somebody from the state and uh, they worked about three hours uh, on my case, specifically doing research and um, they declared it a false positive. It's just uh, meant to be that Cole caught that pass. I mean, for I mean, he flew out here on Southwest. <laughs> it's uh, incredible. We wouldn't have ran that play. Cole's the only one that we've ran it to. Uh, so that, that play wouldn't have happened. And maybe we don't win the game unless he gets out here. And that, that's, uh, I don't know, that's, a, that's good faith. Just the way my teammates reacted for me um, and saw how happy they were for me uh, means a lot more to me than just the catch in general. Um, it shows that they wanted me here. Um, they texted me nonstop saying, saying that like they couldn't wait for me to get here and that I needed to show up. And um, I showed up and I made an impact and that's pretty much all I wanted to do. A remarkable story, a story we'll be talking about for years to come. Reporting from Ogden, Utah, Jason Hurst, News 3 Sports. Thank you so much, Jason. Saluki has traveled to take on the number one seed, South Dakota State, for a little Sunday night football kickoff set for 8 p.m. available on ESPN2. Salukis have their second shot at the Jackrabbits after falling 44-3 earlier this season.